Hey everyone, what's going on? This is Courtney Rada with Howcast Tech. So today, we got the Nest Cam. It's a smart home security camera with a streaming feed right to your mobile device. It's got motion sensors, night vision, notifications, two-way two -way communication, and a versatile mounting base. My finger slipped. It's supposed to separate? Oh, you just keep spinning it. Now, the cam itself is only a live monitor. If you wanted to record the feed so you could see what happened, say, the night before, you'd have to subscribe to its companion service called Nest Aware. This offers cloud-based storage along with a few other features allowing you to use the cam like a security camera. Nest Aware comes with both 10-day and 30-day history plans, letting you review as far back as 30 days into your feed. Important to note, the cam actually starts with a Nest Aware 30-day trial. Not that it tells you that. This gives you access to all the features right out of the box. But if at the end of them 30 days you don't subscribe, all the Nest Aware stuff, including your history, gets deleted. So what's in the box? Included is the Nest Cam, wall plate, three screws, a micro USB cable, power adapter, and the product documents. You know, like the quick setup card and intro card. But you can scrap those last two because I got you covered. Hardware! So the cam sports a 130 degree super wide angle lens. On top is the indicator light, on bottom the microphone. In back you'll find the speaker and underneath it the micro USB port. The base itself is pretty versatile. You say versatile, versatile. Versi I think I say versatile. <clears throat> the base itself is pretty versatile. No, now it sounds weird. Pretty versatile. The base itself is pretty versatile, allowing normal functions like panning and tilting. You can also separate it, revealing a quarter 20 screw adapter for tripods and other mounts. And if you wanted, you can even pop the camera out from the base, making it smaller and easier to hide wherever you please. That said, underneath the base is a big fat magnet, making it easy to adapt the cam to any metallic surface including the wall plate, which you could screw into whatever. And pop that sucker on. Setting her up. All right, to get this thing going, open your browser and head to home.nest.com. What? Who said that? If you don't have an account, you can sign up here. Follow those simple on-screen directions and bang through the setup. Bam, you're all set. Wait, is this thing live? Oh. There's a delay. Are we gonna be able to do this? One to two second delay, everyone. We'll figure it out. Oh, I got the perfect place. How do I use this thing? So, you got that fancy computer app, or if you want, you can download the Nest app for free from your mobile store. The app's your central hub for any Nest products you own. From the home screen, you can find your cam, which is named after its location by default. You can change this later in settings. Also note, the icon is live, which is pretty dope. Opening your cam brings you to the live feed. Tap anywhere to access its controls. From here, you can adjust the picture and sound in settings using that gear icon in the upper right. Wait, is that backward? Upper right. If I do it with my left, can't you just highlight and post? Oh yeah. Okay, settings. Scroll down to video and open image quality. Oh, would you look at that. Here, you can set it between standard def at 360 or high def at 720 and 1080p. The higher the resolution, the better the image, but also the more bandwidth the camera requires. It also supports night vision. That is some real black ops type nonsense. Set to auto by default, it'll turn on automatically in low light. Of course, you can turn this on or off permanently, whatever your pleasure. If your picture's upside down due to the cam's placement, you can toggle rotate image to flip it right side up. Slide all the way down to sound where you can adjust the mic sensitivity. You can also just turn it off. You see how I stopped talking so they got the full effect? He's not impressed. Okay, with those settings all squared away, let's check out this interface. So right above the feed is the video's timestamp. Next to it will read live if, you guessed it, the feed is live. And that other blue toggle up top switches the cam on and off. In the bottom left is the talk button. Let you talk here. And it comes out here. When the mic's activated, the cam chimes and its LED turns blue. If you wanna draw less attention to the cam, you can turn the chime off in settings. In fact, here you can also turn off the cam's LED altogether, making it even more incognito. Next to the talk button is enhance. So, like with most touch screens, you can pinch to zoom your cam's feed. You can then set this as your capture frame by tapping enhance. Hit OK to confirm, and it'll up the res of that digital zoom. So to view your history, open that button in the bottom right. In landscape view, it's all funky, so flip that business to portrait mode. Your history is organized into days by activity alerts. These are created when your cam senses either motion or sound, making it pretty easy to find whatever thing wasn't supposed to happen while you were away. Like, who ate my spring rolls on Friday? Do I look like I'm laughing? Now back in landscape mode, 
Bailey. Dude, Dude Bailey. Bailey. Unbelievable. It's not funny. It's my lunch. Tomorrow I'm gonna eat your lunch and then we'll see if it's funny. Anyway, you got those media controls at the bottom, which you can also use to review your history. The skip buttons move to the next activity alert, and those forward rewind buttons move 30 seconds up and down the timeline. Tap skip to end to return to your live feed. When your cam picks up motion or sound, it can send you notifications. If you want to ignore one or the other, you can change this in settings. Of course, you can always turn notifications off completely through your iPhone settings. Back in Nest settings, Nest settings, Nest, Nest settings, Nest settings. Back in the app, you can also link your cam to Nest's home away feature. This will turn your cam on when set to away and you guessed it, turns it off when set to home. You can also put your cam on a schedule in settings. Turn it on to open the weekly sketch, then open whatever day you want and tap add time to set the day's schedule. All right, phone up. Done, computer app, go time. So back at home.nest.com, we'll go over those few features accessible only in the computer app. Super similar to the mobile app, the interface has a couple differences. Like what? Like you gotta hover your cursor over the feed to get the controls. Like the zoom bars in the upper left. Like the volume and full screen buttons in the bottom right. But that's all pretty basic. The big one's the timeline. Also pretty SEX. Are they paying attention? Why can't I say that? It's short for self-explanatory. Cause it's too many syllables. Gary, it's about Pacing. This is why I'm in front of the lens and you're not. I owe Gary an apology. I should not have said that. I'm sorry. Where was I? Also pretty SEX, you can click through the timeline to browse your history. Those little circles are your activity alerts. And you can toggle the scale between hours, minutes, and seconds in the bottom left, where you can also change what day's history you're viewing. Now the computer app has a few features not found in the mobile app, like making your live feed public. From settings, click video access, then make your camera public. Click it again to confirm the switch. Now, you can either embed it or create a URL to your live feed, which anyone can access. Be sure to throw a dope description of the feed in the text box. What about Nestaware? Glad you asked. So, in addition to history, Nestaware sports two other features, activity zones, and video clips. So activity zones are selected areas of the frame that your cam can create activity alerts specifically for. So check it. If I only want notifications when something's moving down on the street and not in the windows, you could just zone it off. Click the activity zone button, then click create. By default, you'll get a square in the middle of your feed. You can move this shape around by clicking anywhere on it, and you can manipulate it by clicking on the circular tabs. You can also change the zone's color and name in the bottom left. Then when you're set, click done. For me, I like to roll with a lot of them. Makes me feel like I got it all under control. Video clips. This is it. This is the last of it. So with Nestaware, anything older than 10 or 30 days, depending on your plan, gets deleted. If you want to save any of that, you can create video clips or time lapses from your history. Click the video clips button, then click create. Using the blue anchors, you can set in and out points in your timeline to define the clip you want to make. Check that box in the lower corner to turn the clip into a two minute time lapse. Or if you've selected more than an hour of footage, it'll make one automatically. Click save and it'll process and create the clip. Important to note, you can only save three hours of content total this way. Though, if you want, you can download your video clips to your local storage, freeing up time in the allotted three hours. To watch your clips, click view clips, obvi, and select your clip. From the viewing window, you can also share, download, or delete the video. All right, that is everything. If you want to win this bad boy, we're giving it away. So, no, so, so, no. Ah! Oh, it's so hot. If you want to win this bad boy, we're giving it away. Head over to our Facebook page to find out how to enter. Thanks everyone for watching. That was the Nest Cam, and if you want more how-tos on the latest gadgetry, go ahead and click subscribe. I'm Courtney Rada, and this has been Howcast Tech.